This is the Korg Volker Modular and as you can see it's quite a small device like the other Volkers which play conventional bass and percussion and synth sounds. But this modular might be regarded as a substitute for starting a Uberwack system and having half a dozen modules in that. But it actually works in quite a different way, as we'll see. Now it has a built-in touch keyboard and the basic sound is something like you get on an old stylophone. Thinking in synthesizer terms, what you might like to do next is change the oscillator wave shape. But there's no selection of oscillator wave shapes on here, and there's no octave switch either. What you do to start changing the tone is to use the wave folder, and as you can hear, starting with the basic waveform, this changes quite a lot with different wave folder positions. Now, as for pitch, again, there's no octave switching or conventional tuning. So what you have is a modulation control, which uh, works in the way that FM synthesis does. So you can pick tuned harmonic points higher or lower in octave. Now like an FM synthesizer uh, of the type uh, that the old Yamaha DX7 was, at some points using this FM synthesis control you'll get tuned sounds and at other points you won't. So if you want to tune in to a particular harmonic point, you can. But if you don't, you start getting these metallic clanging sounds which are typical of FM synthesis. Another difference with an old stylophone type design is that you do have an envelope so you can put some decay time on. That goes up to about 5 seconds. And you also have attack for a slow fade in. That's all you have on the envelope attack and release. But like the old EMS synthesizers, you can then alter the shape of the envelope as a whole and the time as a whole. This shape and time device isn't patched in to the normal signal path, but we'll look at how you patch in other modules with pin cable shortly. Now after the uh, sound source and the envelope, what you'd expect on a uh, design like a Moog Mini Moog or something like that is uh, a resonating filter. Again that's not here. What you have is two low pass gates LPGs. Now, low pass gate is typical of the West Coast synthesizer design by Buchler and other manufacturers, and not so much of the East Coast designs of Moog. A low pass gate, when you adjust it, it changes the cutoff of the sound, so it does work like a conventional low pass filter, making sound smoother. But it also has a decay time of its own, it doesn't discharge immediately. So it generally makes short, plucky, percussive sounds. As you can hear, the sounds are becoming softer, but they're losing a lot of their decay as well. So there's one low pass gate patched in to the normal signal path, and another one which you can patch in yourself. After the low pass gate, 
is uh, an effects amount. The effect is only reverb. Here's a little bit of reverb and a lot more and a very deep reverb at which point the sounds become quite unidentifiable. So that deals with the conventional signal path which is connected internally on the Volca. Let's just take some advantage of that with a bit more of this FM modulation and see if we can make some big gong and cymbal type sounds. And the sound is quite unusual and not something you'd come up with quickly on a conventional East Coast Mo type synthesizer. The Volker modular can make a slightly more unusual sounds than that, particularly when you start patching the pin cables. Now here's the module guide which shows you what the audio and voltage inputs and outputs are for each module and on the back that has a couple of example patches that you might like to try it yourself. The pin cables come in an assortment of colours which makes it a bit easier to see where each patch is going. Now the other modules we haven't looked at are the clock which has six different connectors, Woggle which is a sample and hold with two ins and two outs. Split, which is a, a two in and four out splitter. And connectors to the CV in for external control voltages. We also have on the top sync in and out, which is for Korg's uh, sync method from the mono tribe and, and similar units. Let's do some patching now. I patched the Woggle sample and hold section into the source input and in this case you get a portamento but you also get a randomly changed note each time you touch a key. That's quite unusual. Here's another patch. This patch is a method of getting LFO modulation to your oscillator. There's no conventional LFO on the Volca modular, but what you do is you take the second function generator, which has uh, shape and time adjustments, and you make that repeat. This is something that was found on the old EMS. ECS3. So as you change those two parameters you get faster modulation. <laughs> and of course the fastest modulation speed uh, goes up to audio so you start getting other types of effects. <laughs> Here's a patch in which the second low pass gate, the one which isn't patched into the normal signal path, is used almost as a second oscillator thickening up the sound.
Here's a simple patch giving an oscillator sync type sound. But now it's time to look at the sequencer and in fact there's a bit more happening in this sound each time a new note is played. So you can see on the Volca you change the tone more by adjusting modulation into the main oscillator and you change the tone further along with the gate time by using low pass gate. Now on the Volca you have 16 16 step sequences and you can jump from one to the next using the keyboard. several outputs giving signals at different multiples so you can quickly move the pin patching there to change the kind of pattern it creates. <laughs> because you can have different types of modulation going off at different multiples of the same speed. The keyboard keys also have alternate functions to select the uh, pattern of the sequence and so on. And there's a handy one called Stochastic which starts to play a semi-random pattern based on the sequence. <laughs> So the Volca improvises quite nicely on the uh, sequence that you've saved. And uh, this sort of pattern was heard a lot in the 1970s with people using EMS synthesizers and the big digital sequencers built into them. So this is a blast from the past in a way. a few more functions, particularly the output of the woggle, which is a, a sample and hold, you get odd notes lost from your pattern, so it's quite tuneful but random.
useful percussive sounds and patterns there, although the Volca doesn't have white noise as such. Here's the wobble section in action again. <coughs> So you can get a very much randomised effect on the notes you play. The Volker, as we've mentioned, is tiny, with a space for six AA batteries on the underside and a miniature speaker. And the audio output is a mini jack which you can use for headphones or line audio. So there you have the Korg Volker Modular, quite an unexpected and adventurous piece of equipment which looks superficially like a tiny substitute for a Euro rack, but it's in fact more like a tiny substitute for a, a Buchler or other West Coast modular system with less of the conventional envelopes and filters and more of the exotic modules like low-pass gates which affect tone and decay time at the same time and a non-conventional envelope which can be set to loop and a non-conventional way of changing the oscillator tone which is more like FM synthesis than you would find on something like a Moog with conventional subtractive synthesis using a low-pass filter. Useful modules too, such as the clock with multiple outputs going at different speeds and the woggle or sample and hold section with two different outputs, a little set of splitters at the top and a good supply of these pin patch cables. Now as you can see when patched up, particularly with a lot of cables, it's not so easy to get at the Volker controls anymore and particularly with the power plug right next to the clock it's quite difficult to get at that clock speed independently once a few pin cables are in place. So this is a limitation of the Volker perhaps on stage under darkened conditions you're not going to be able to see exactly what you're doing but if you set up a, a complex patch you may be able to adjust and modulate that and get some exciting and unpredictable results. A very low price point, uh, just under $200, about £140 in the UK. And it does have interfacing to other devices. Uh, particularly the CV in is provided on a mini jack socket which will make it more useful to interface to small modulars and the sync in and out interfaces the sequencer to mono tribe and other core products so it doesn't have to be a standalone instrument there are some good interfacing possibilities and if you're interested in these more unusual and perhaps unpredictable soundscapes a bargain to get that kind of sound and something that you may like to look at so we'll go out with just a few more sounds with the sequencer playing on the Volker Modular. <laughs> 